Welcome back everybody to Conan Exiles. I'm an old guy gaming and we are picking up right where we left off in the last episode and we are going to do the wine cellar dungeon. So I got Captain Leon with me here. This is our first time running through this dungeon in this series and so according to our playthrough rules I can only do the dungeon with one extra follower. Uh, this is the one dungeon that concerns me a little bit in terms of our success because the boss at the end is pretty difficult to beat i think we'll be fine but yeah we'll see we'll see so anyway let's uh start working our way down into the wine cellar here and uh, as i mentioned in the last episode we're going to come across books uh or you know the story notes that we that we have in the game and it's going to kind of tell us the story of this area uh, in reverse so let's move on down now one thing you can do in the wine cellar dungeon is you can get what's called Kari steel and then you can make uh, Kari weapons and I think armor out of the steel and it's really good high-end uh, end-game stuff Blood of the serpent. Enemies at the gate. and so you start by fighting some you know relic treasure hunter seekers which as we know from earlier in the game are some of the toughest um, NPCs that you can come across Let's kill her before she blows us up with stuff. That's just a normal... Whoops. Sorry. Wrong thing. That's just a normal cutlass. Yeah, okay. So we'll look around here. I think... Yeah, we got some chests in here. Uh, you know, with the usual stuff in it. We don't really need anything. We're, we got everything we need for the most part. But we'll look anyways. We'll take, you know, we'll take money for sure. Okay, so here's here's this um, story here. So let's take a look and see what it has to say. 107 days after the fall, Kor has failed. We thought we knew what darkness was, but the shadows we knew were nothing more than the absence of light. This darkness is the end of hope. Thag is coming, and we cannot stand against it. This is the end. Okay, so as I mentioned... Um, we're we're gonna get the story of the of the wine cellar dungeon here in reverse. So that was the final note, and they talk about some one or something named Thag that's coming to I guess destroy everybody or whatever. Uh, oh, we feel dizzy from thirst, do we? Okay, let's go ahead and drink some stuff. We need to eat too, so we'll do that. Let's put this back on. I think. I think using the witch doctor's mask is going to make things too washed out. So it's going to be a little dark in here, guys. I might take a look at possibly adding a little bit of gamma to in editing later, but we'll see how, how it goes. It's just kind of the way this dungeon is. Okay, so when you come across these little chests, um, you get some Kari steel. So we just looted uh, one piece of Kari steel that, again, we can use. It says a steel bar infused with strange essence uh, that we can use to make the... Uh, the armor and the weapon. So what you want to do if, if you're in here after it is you want to just look in every nook and cranny and behind the buildings and stuff. See, here's another one. Uh, if you're going to farm this to get, uh, you know, to get it for uh, your weapons and armor and stuff like that. Okay. I'm not really interested in, in it myself. I mean, because we've already got the Godbreaker armor on. But if you did want to farm it, you know, that's how you would do it. So, okay. Let's kill these guys. We've got a little mini boss here. Come on, Liam, attacker. Don't be stupid. I go to the still born god. Yeah, he was derping out there a little bit. There's a couple chests here with some gold and silver. And we'll take that. As the snake strikes, so do I. All right, let's come down this way. In the name of it, identify yourself. Okay, 
Okay, you just have... Oh, that's that's like a, a dead person. All right, now, uh, when you get to here, you want to jump the gap. If you don't, uh, and if you fall down in there, you're toast. <laughs> so, that, of course, will not be a problem for us because we have our double jump. But you, but you can make it across there um, without it, too. Okay, most of the enemies from here on out now are going to be undead. So, we're going to be fighting whites and skellies. And this is where it would be good to have... Um, a dancer with you uh, because you do get a little bit of corruption when these guys hit you but I'm not like I said I'm not really too worried about it. we should be good okay I know it's really dark here let's put the that on that'll help a little bit okay Liam I hope hopefully you're coming there he is okay so we come across to this kind of undead city area here and can we put this back on and so, oh man it is so dark okay i'm going to i'm going to just i guess i'm just going to keep this on for you guys cuz otherwise you're going to have a hard time seeing in the video okay liam don't derp out this time buddy i need your help here There we go. Okay. We better heal up. Yeah, this is a rough place, man. This is definitely a rough place. But, you know, those of you who are playing Conan unmodded, you know, you can only come in here with one follower, too. So that's partly why I, you know, set that requirement for myself to do, you know, the first time, you know, to do all dungeons and bosses with just one follower. Okay, so we've got some silver and gold there. Okay, I don't see any of the Kari steel chest. Oh, there's one right there. Yeah, so again, you just kind of look around for it until you find what you need. And then, of course, you leave the dungeon and come back and do it again. Farm it up. So, Okay, let's go back this way. Um, I'm going to also take another bandage, too. So we came down uh, that bridge. Let's just look around in back in here real quick. Okay, yeah, I don't see any car steel there either. Okay. So, um, we can either go left or right. Let's go right first. I think we were already back in... Yeah, we were back over here already. It's a bit of a maze down here. Okay. Got an abomination guy over there. Let's deal with him. There's a chest with just normal stuff in it there. Star metal hatchet. Nice. We don't need it, though. Nothing back here. Skelly's coming out of the ground. There's 
some silver. So I can carve it on your body. What's this? Whoops, I keep hitting the wrong button. Herbalist notes, yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's take this. I'll take an elixir of might. Yeah, I don't need the rest of that stuff. Okay, this kind of gets us back to the main road. Where we went right there. I think. Is it? Well, anyways, you just kind of keep working your way towards the water and you, you'll get there. Okay, so now we've got a one skull uh, dude here. And I th think, oh yeah, we did miss this area. Okay, so let's get this first. All right, get him, Leon. Okay, he drops a power shard and two Kari steel. Nice. We'll take that stuff off of him. Okay, so this is kind of like the main avenue that you would you would take. We we kind of went around to the side, but here again you can go, you know, back in these nooks and crannies, find more chests, uh, maybe more Kari steel if you're lucky. There's a little bit of star metal in there. These are all, um, here, I'll take the witch fire powder. Uh, those, those are, or some of those anyways, are ember light weapons. Um, don't see anything back here. Okay. Okay, let's continue working our way this way. So you come to this well, and there should be another story. And if you listen closely, it's kind of creepy. You can hear a bunch of people, like, screaming in agony. I don't know how well you guys can hear that. Um... But anyway, yeah, there it goes. Okay, I think there's a there should be a note around here somewhere. I'm trying to see if I can figure out where it's at. Yeah, right here. Okay. Fifty-seven days after the fall, our situation grows ever more desperate. The food is gone. There are no animals left in the city, and cannibalism is rampant. Even the rocks have been scraped bare of their lichen. Kor has presented the idea of the ritual to the people, and it did not go well. The people are scared, and scared people turn to the gods for help. The priests were only too willing to denounce our apostasy, and they have locked the doors of the temple against us. Kor is determined, however, and he is not likely to be thwarted. Okay. There might have been another note that we missed. Can't remember uh, for sure if there is or not. Let's take all that stuff. Because the first note was 107 days, and then that one was 57. I'm just quickly looking along the main route here to see if there's any notes. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Okay, 93 days after the fall. The ritual will proceed. The only course that remains for us is apostasy, to renounce the god who has abandoned us and seek new allies in the darkness. Kor is confident that he can control whatever the ritual summons. He has demonstrated his powers in the past. The doors of the temple have been shattered and the priests confined to their, to their living quarters. We are prepared. Okay. So they're talking about uh, basically summoning Thag, um, who was the demon in the, in the first note, that they said he's coming to destroy everybody. Yada, yada, yada. 
so there were some some bloody sacrifices made here at this well and i guess you can hear the still hear the screams from it so yeah it's kind of creepy um this, yeah, we, yeah we already read that one there okay so let's see we can i don't think there's anything back here a couple chests here it's got some gray lotus in it and that's just got some stuff press E to interact is it with with this oh we I guess we could turn that light on I didn't know we could do that <laughs> um, all right, so let's see. We came through that direction. Yeah, so we got a dead guy there. So let's go through here and we wanna go across the bridge. Oh we got we got friends here. Yeah, I didn't know you could turn those lights on. That's kind of cool. All right, let's walk up this path here. Please. There you go. Okay. So, this is. Uh, there's. We come to our first boss over here. And he has a chance. This guy right here. He's a three skull. He has a chance of dropping a, a special water skin that you can get, which holds a lot more charges of water. So hopefully we'll luck out and he'll drop it. Okay, I need to get out of here. Ah, shit. I need to get out of here and get a little stamina back. And let's pop a potion, too. Wait for our stem. Liam should be able to tank him no problem. He attacks us as soon as we run out of stamina. <laughs> Get him, Leon. There he goes. He drops it. Nice. Okay, so yeah, this is the Kari water skin. And like I said, basically just holds uh, several more charges than the normal water skin. Uh, so definitely come, you know, come in here to get that at some point when you're ready to do so. It's nice, nice to have, nice to have. All right, I think that's, uh, let's see, we got a, yeah, we got a cave here with some gold and silver. And then that's just the waterfall that leads back down to the other spot. Oh, here's a Kari steel box though. Nice. All right. Now, what we want to do here is we want to go back. Here's another chest. All right. Let's kill this guy. another chest right here All right, let's go back through here now 
Also, let's take our Kari water skin. Oh, it's already full. Okay, cool. So yeah, just by way of comparison, if we drink out of our normal water skin, it takes that much, and this one, yeah, I, it, it seems like it only took about half as much as the other one, so maybe it has like double the capacity. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how much capacity it has, but yeah, okay. You get him nice work okay so you start to come into this real uh, foggy area and that will bring us to the second boss there are a total of four bosses in this dungeon too by the way I don't know if I mentioned that or not gray lotus seats we'll take those Out of stamina. Okay. So yeah, yeah, you just have to kind of work your way through the foggy streets, but this is the direction we're heading. Looks like Liam found some more friends here. All right. And there's, you know, there's more chests and stuff I could be looting if I wanted to, like, completely hit everything, but I'm not all that interested in it, to be honest with you. I just want to hit the main parts of the dungeon. So it's like super foggy here, uh, but then we come to another boss here. I guess this is a one skull. I thought this was a three skull boss. Damn it. Here, we might as well bandage up while Leon's got his attention. Okay. Uh, so we come to this kind of creepy altar thing here. Uh, there's a Kari steel right there. Oh, no, that was a relic fragment. Okay. And uh, here's some chests. Okay. And then we have another note right here. Uh, where's it at? I can't see it. Press E to interact. Oh, Leon's like standing right over the top of it. Here, come back over here, dude. Seven days after the fall, sanity slowly returns. Those who survived have assembled in the temple district to make to take stock. All told, over a thousand of us still live, men, women, and children. The event has come to be known as the fall, which is an apt description for the moment when the earth swallowed our city. We still do not know what we have done to anger the great serpent, but the priests are burning sacrifices day and night. Yes, we still live, but there is no light aside from the fire we create ourselves and the several species of luminescent fungi. Our survival depends on working together. Kor, who has a reputation as a mystic and a sage, has suggested that we turn to the library for our salvation, poring over the histories that have survived in search of clues to help with our situation. I know that this is something that I can help with. Okay, so basically, these folks were in a city that got swallowed, I'm assuming, by an earth earthquake or something like that. And that's why it is an underground place. All right. So let's uh, leave this real foggy area. Uh, nope, we don't want to go that way. It's very difficult to see in this, this spot. And then we'll come up through here. And uh, there's some more chests. Take the gold and silver and the lotus seeds. Okay, now we come to another area. 
I guess I guess there's actually only three bosses. Uh, three three skull bosses. There's a, a few one skulls too. I was thinking that fog fog place, the altar we were just at, was a three skull, but it's only one skull. And this, you know, this is a dungeon too. I've only actually done this a handful of times. I'm not super familiar with it like I am with the the War Maker Sanctuary. Liam, hit that guy. Okay, and he dropped both a Kari Steel and a uh, three Kari Steel and a Fragment of Power. Nice. Okay, we should have another note around here somewhere. Uh, do we? Maybe we don't. Hmm, okay. Must be missing it. Okay, well, I guess we don't have a note here. Or if we do, I'm, I'm not seeing it. Um, all right. Now, what we want to do next is have to figure out where we go from here. I think we want to go back this way. Yeah, we want to get we want to go this direction. I'm just trying to think of, of where the main path is. You might have to go up the stream. I'm not sure to get here. Where does this go? Okay, we got some stuff there. What's this? Oh, that's a a star metal bone. Okay. I mean, I could take that stuff and and break it down. It would definitely be worth doing. But again, we just we don't need stuff. <laughs> we got all the stuff. We got all the stuff. Lean, get off to. There's a car steal. Okay, so this just brought us back to the same spot. Um, trying to remember. That's coming out of the ceiling. We got to get up to there is where we're headed. So I guess do we go this way? No, we just came from this way. All right, let's go back this direction. We can't get up through there. So we must have to go back this way, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think that's right. Oh, here's a book. Three days after the fall, the world has stopped shaking. The dust has cleared. We live, but the world we knew is gone. Our city has been swallowed by the earth. Many have died, crushed beneath the rubble. More are wounded and trapped. We hear their screams echoing in the gloom, but we cannot find them. Why has Set abandoned us? Abandoned us. Why, Set? Why? Okay. Is that a chest? No. Okay, let's... Come through here, kill some more of these dudes. Another one skull. Okay, we better take a, a pot here. Man, that's a lot of enemies. I'm stuck, I can't move. Stamina, 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 stamina. We 
We should have brought some healing food for Liam. I didn't think about that. All right, where's the big dude? He's back down here. So he's got three Kari steel and a fragment of power. We'll take that. Okay, let's keep moving up this way. Okay, so this pathway leads on up to the the final area, but there's a side path that you can take here to get to the second boss. And this boss is one of those really mean and nasty demon spiders. We fought uh, another one like it way back uh, in the in the jungle on the the island over by Buccaneer Bay. If you guys remember, that was a few episodes ago now. So we get to fight it again. Let's get our bow. And I think poison will work with this dude, hopefully. All right, Liam, how's your health? Yeah, you're down to half. So we'll probably, we definitely need to heal him all the way up before we do the last boss. He should be okay with this one, though. There's a whole bunch of gossamer in here, too. Get our daggers out and get some bleeds in. Oh shit, that stuff hurts. I want to get some bleeds uh, and poison on this one. Get out of here, spider. Trash spiders. They're just being a pain in the butt, which is exactly what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, let's get some bleeds back on on you. There we go. You dead. Let's get um, our knife out here. And we got a skeleton key. So somewhere back in this creepy place, there should be a chest. There it is. Oh, that's just a normal loot chest. There we go. The Bane of Kostral Kel. Kostral Kel, or however you pronounce that. Okay. And then, of course, you know, if you needed silk and whatever, you could harvest a whole bunch of gossamer in here. I think we are kind of low on silk now that I think about it. Uh, let's grab this. I'm not going to grab everything in here, but we'll get we'll get a little bit of it and take it back with us. Okay, that's good enough. Let's take the this and just start making silk with it. And I don't need all that chitin, so let's get rid of it. Okay. So that was the second boss. Three skull boss, I should say. And so we come back out to here and then keep working our way up the path. Almost done. Okay, so this is the 
the library. Okay, I think that takes care of most of the enemies leading up to the library. There might be some chests and stuff down below that you can you can loot, but again, not worried about it. Okay, let's get up uh, up here. I think. Um, do we want to go in this room yet? Yeah, we can come in here. I think. All right, let's see what it looks like if we put our. I'd, kind of like to have my helmet on for this fight. It'll be a little bit, should be a little bit lighter in the boss room, which is just the next room over. Okay, before we do anything else, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put um, half of our potions on Leon and have him use these to get some health back here. He's got so much health that it, it, it takes a little while. Okay, so we got Leon back to full health. So he's good to go. Um, let's uh, let's eat some more food just so we got that topped off. Maybe we'll drink one more time too. Okay, here we go. So this boss is a pain in the ass. Just going to throw that out there. Um, I want to pop an elixir of vigor and an elixir of might. And that'll give us uh oh you know what we should have done too I sh I wasn't thinking I should have made some of those ex exotic fish you know from the advanced fish traps as so those would have given us buffs too uh, but basically the way this fight's gonna work is we have to come in here and light up all of these uh, fires here and then he's gonna come down into the circle and you know we we basically just tank and spank him down but he's gonna go through some different phases and one of those phases um i for lack of a better way of saying it you know these like lasers things come down from the sky and you have to be standing in the right place or if you get hit by it it hurts like a son of a bitch so oh wish us luck <laughs> okay here we go this is fag Looks like he's already here, we just can't see him. There we go, okay. So, I don't think we can poison him. Here, let's see if we can poison him. Maybe we can. No, he's not poisonable. Okay, so our best bet is going to be to use Yogg's Touch. Okay, so what we have to do now is make sure we're not standing on the floor in the blue area. And maybe not in the center either. Okay, so we got through that. Um, let's just make sure we're fully healed up here. What? Yeah, I shouldn't actually. I shouldn't be moving towards the. Oh shit! He's gonna kill us. Son of a bitch. Okay. I think it's probably better to move towards the out outer part. And not the, the center part. Okay. Crap. <laughs> this is just not good. I can't move. I keep getting caught in the in the shit there. Okay, here. So see that's what I mean. This boss is such a pain in the ass. Now we got all these ads too. Okay, stay away from that. We gotta get the boss burnt down like this quick. Kill him, kill him! Okay, watch out. He's almost dead. Except for I don't have any stamina. Make sure we're, we're full health here. Oh, we got him. Okay. 
Whew. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a tough fight, man. I I I came close to buying the farm there. Okay, is this uh? Okay, yeah, that gives us the scroll for the, to make the weapons for the Kari, and we got seven Kari steel off that guy. Holy crap, that was a hard fight. Okay, um, let's uh, let's learn that, so we basically can make the the Kari stuff. Maybe we might take a look at making the Kari daggers. Uh, we've got, whoops, I keep hitting the wrong button. We've got uh, let's see, twenty three Kari steel in total from this run, and so you know, each time you run the dungeon, you can. If, if you look in every nook and cranny, you can expect to get around 20-ish or so. Maybe more, because I, I didn't check every single nook and cranny. All right, now let's uh, see what we get off of this guy's body. Uh, witch fire powder. Okay, that's useful. Do these guys have anything? Okay, well there you go guys, Wine Cellar Dungeon. Man, as you can see, you know, if you've been following the series all along, I have not really had any difficulty with any of the bosses. Uh, but this this one uh, always concerns me um, because it's, it's a tough fight. So, there you go. We did it though. Alright, let's head on out of here. And when you come out of the dungeon, you basically just come back out. Um, this, whoops, uh, this door here, and this is the door we went into the wine cellar, so, okay, cool, so I think we have finished everything we need, need to do in Sepper Maru, what, you know, what you might do in your playthroughs, those of you guys who are playing the game too, you know, this is a good place to come and, you know, farm, especially for craftsman thralls. And um, there's a lot of important story stuff here with your conversations with Conan and with uh, Ramsa, so, or Rasma rather. So yeah, pretty cool place. Pretty cool place. All right, so what's coming up next? We need to, the volcano is going to be the next thing for us. Uh, we need to go get the shining trapezohodrin thingamadoodle. Never seem to be able to, oh, I forgot to put him back on defensive mode. <laughs> Um, I can never seem to pronounce that right. But anyways, uh, that's going to be the volcano, and we got a lot of stuff to do at the volcano. Uh, and that's coming up in the next episode. Look, look, looking forward to it. So um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.